Before we begin, spoilers ahead and do take care. Today I'm going to explain, an American science fiction and thriller film, named Higher Power. This movie conveys a very deep definition about the relationship between father and daughters. Make sure to watch till the end, to find out. The movie starts with a quote, telling that he will create his own god to save the world. A mass scientist named the Controller is doing research about a power that can transform a man into a superhuman. When a strange guy unexpectedly contacts him through encrypted messages, informing him that he knows about the professor's work and him being thrown out by the organization. The guy then offers a proposal to bring the research into reality that will be used to preserve the world from the upcoming apocalypse. Because the invention needs a topic, the controller instantly starts up a research for DNA analysis until he discovers a man Joseph Stedman. The scene then skips to an interview with the astrophysicist Michael Swofford, who alleges that gamma ray bursts will be the final thing that mankind will witness before the apocalypse. He adds that a high mass star is going to sink which will emit two narrow gamma ray beams and Earth is lying directly in the path of the beam zone. Meaning that the Earth will be annihilated on the other side, Joseph, or Joe, is a recovering alcoholic, and currently works as a security guard at Redlock, he changed the old recording showing his quality time with his daughter on a seashore. He told his daughter Zoe three magic words, one, four, three which stands for I love you. Turns out that the controller has been investigating and recording everything Joe does. The system then discloses that Joe is undergoing psychiatric treatment, for depression, and suicidal tendencies. So he wants to murder himself, and he also has an anger issue, Zoe unfortunately only makes things terrible for his father. She thinks Joe was accountable for the demise of her mother, and dislikes him for that, surprisingly she's having an affair with Michael. On the other hand Rhea Zoe's junior sister, is a drug addict, and is always being utilized by a pimp. Nico the controller's men keep pursuing and trailing Joey's daughter's activities. While at the library Michael mentions looking for somebody, that increases the possibility of a more optimistic future for humanity. A recording indicates that before Joey's wife's death, he used to have a melodious family. Ray was still a very joyous teenager, and Zoe still loved her dad. He then attempts to reconnect with Zoe. But it appears like his daughter doesn't want to meet him again, he even ends up punching Michael which makes Zoe angry that night. While driving Joey tries to call Raya trying to rectify things with her, but she doesn't pick up the phone, he then pulls aside and begins drinking again. While flashbacking his memories with his wife, he guaranteed her to keep their family together, but he failed. A little moment later, a man who has been hiding in the back seat nabs him, and carries him to the controller, he implants a chip into Joey's eyes, which enables him to see what he sees, shows him what the controller needs to see, and talks to him. When Joe wakes up, the controller threatens him to pick a pistol and shot a woman. At first he restrains to do so, but he threatens him that his man will kill his daughter. Joe reluctantly obeys his order, turns out that the gun is empty, and the woman is the controller's agent, who is testing his adherence. At this point a large star has just erupted, and the beam is currently heading towards Earth. Joe awakens and is orchestrated by the controller, to break into his boss's house. His boss Charles is the president of Redlock. While monitoring, Joe manages to get in and command Charles, to bring him the safe where a laptop is being kept. He then scans his finger on the finger scanner, and it discloses that Joe's DNA is compatible. Charles got a chance and hits Joe with a base, taking his gun away, he sights the optic impact, realizing that the controller is the man behind us, turns out that Charles was the controller's boss. And he discovers the purpose he kicked him away from the project, saying that was too risky, after that Charles is shot to death by a drone. Joe is commanded to cut the man's thumb, and escapes from there, he proceeds his mission. This time the controller orders him to move over to Redlock's head office. Upon coming he is told to put on a mask, while a drone deploys gas bombs which instantly kills all Redlock staffs. The controller elucidates that their lives mean nothing in comparison to the greater picture. Which is to save the world, Joe then enters the main facility, where he uses his boss's thumb to open a door. That directs him to a big generator, Joe is compelled to get into the huge device. If he needs his daughter to live. The generator begins working generating a very bright light, that finally changes the DNA sequence inside Joe's body. Not long after the generator explodes. And the controller reports to his higher command that the mission is successful. Zoe watches the news on the TV, and diminished her actions towards her father before. 
Joe who is wrapped in aluminium foil, wakes up in his house and realizes that. He has now massive superpowers, every time he is furious, he can cast a purple colored harmful beam from his body, which stuns the controller with his power. Joe is now able to turn on a motorcycle without a key, to open his tremendous potential. The controller commands Joe to move over to Nico's location, he arrives at a brothel and finds Nico, who diverts him with a camera's flashlight and hits him down realizing that Joe is Red's father, Nico then intentionally shows a video, Rare being seduced by him. Joe is furious and unexpectedly emits a very bright light, demolishing the entire place. Nevertheless the controller is not convinced, as Joe still hasn't acquired a mandatory stress level. Nico's friend tries to kill him but, the superhuman is immune to bullets. The PYM attempts to hit Joe with his car, but he casts a gamma ray beam that kills Nico immediately. A few minutes later, the police apprehend him and brought for interrogation. Because the police feel Joe is a terrorist, the controller commands him to tell the detective that he has planted bombs or four of a shipyard, which makes them panic and they instantly went to the shipyard. The controller then notifies Joe that he must get there before the police, or they will be killed by the explosion. He then breaks out from the police station, moves over to the shipyard with a stolen vehicle. Nevertheless he is preoccupied by different police officers, therefore with his power he then changes into a light blast, and travels at the velocity of light. On the other side, the controller's team went to Zoe's house, and abduct her and her boyfriend. While the police appears at the shipyard and begins searching for bombs. Luckily Joe shows up on time, and manages to grab the container with the bombs to the sky, before it explodes. However the debris strikes a plane's machine, making it to fall, utilizing his power. Joe manages to prevent the plane from touching the ground, and brings it to a safer place. Joe went to Zoe's house, only to find out that she has been abducted, and the controller threatens to kill her. He's able to trail her location just by touching the laptop screen, and instantly hurries there to rescue his daughter, upon appearing he casts an electromagnetic shield to protect his otter. The controller's team attempt to shoot him, but they are just squandering their bullets, as it gives no impact at all to the superhuman, he effortlessly terminates them. Surprised that her old man is still alive. Zoe eventually apologizes to him for what she had done. Nevertheless, it turns out that the strange guy that contacted, the controller before was Michael. Meanwhile, the gamma ray beam is getting nigher and nearer to Earth, knowing that Michael instantly grabs a pistol. And shoots Zoe to death in presence of her father, Joe is fierce and kills him. However he understands that he is incapable to save his daughter, he apologizes for leaving her alone after his wife's death. To make things terrible, the controller's team located Rhea and kill her, while the controller posts her live to Joe. The deaths of his daughters makes Joe got to the maximum level of his anger. He begins emitting a vast amount of purple light, spreading across the entire Earth. The light even touches outer space, creating an electromagnetic barrier that fully wraps, and protects the Earth trapped. The controller says his final words that he has successfully produced a god. Fed up with this, Joe kills him to shut him up for eternity. However Michael and the controller's plan to save the world is a huge success. As Joe's superpower manages to soak up all the incoming gamma ray beams. Stopping it from destroying the earth. On the other side, Joe's promise to his dead wife, is eventually fulfilled as he revives both of his daughters, with his power, and regroups them. At the end of the movie, Rhea and Zoe meet at the seashore. And looks like Joe has fully changed into a superhuman form for eternity. This brings us to the end of the movie, I hope you do like it. And please do like and subscribe to this channel, for more videos like this. As we going to be bringing you more of your favorite movies. Thanks for watching and see you soon.